Hey everybody, Caleb here with another entry into the teacher's context on this channel. Today we're going to be covering Dead Poets Society, a film released in 1989 and directed by Peter Ware, who's also known for directing the film The Truman Show. This is a great movie on its own, but it's particularly useful for English teachers, since our main character is an English teacher by the name of John Keating, who is portrayed brilliantly by Robin Williams. This film tells the tale of a teacher coming into a strict boarding school known for its academic rigor. He works to convince his students about the emotion and passion not only of literature but of life as he believes that literature is a reflection of life and should inspire its readers to live fuller better lives the students in this class take his message to heart and work to continually read poetry on their own forming the dead poet society as they grow and find new interests they face backlash not only from the rest of the school but also from their own families i'm sure most english teachers are aware of this film but i want to present a case as to why this is worth taking the time to show this in a classroom. I believe this film does a lot to present literature in a fun, engaging way. And while teachers absolutely do this in their own classrooms, sometimes a different perspective and a different person can bring literature to life for a student. I also believe that the messages that this movie sends, of finding the joy in life and in being yourself, are also super important to teach students, regardless of the subject area. This movie really hammers home the idea that teaching is so much more than simply the content that you are teaching, but rather that it is also about the life lessons the students come away with, and the knowledge that they do not have to live a life predetermined for them, but rather that they can make their lives whatever they want it to be, so long as they find the will to make it happen. The two big reasons why I think this film is worth showing to a classroom, because it shows how relevant content taught in a school can be, provided that the teacher makes it engaging, and how students should push to live their lives in a way that is meaningful to them. The first reason is that this film shows how content can be engaging for students if done correctly. Now, I understand how cheesy this can sound because that's the sort of line that teachers tell their students that this will apply to your life someday. It's not that this is incorrect, but rather that students hear this so much that it ends up having absolutely no meaning when it's said. The truth is that all content that is taught in schools can have practical applications, but that application sometimes isn't immediately clear or it takes applying the information in a different way. I think that sometimes things aren't always taught well and that sometimes you don't know how information you learn in school will apply in your life. Sometimes we have to be in this situation where the information is necessary before we know that it's necessary information. This film shows how this can work, with Keating instructing his students in all sorts of different types of poetry and literature. Lots of times poetry seems to have little application in everyday life, and in some aspects this can be true. However, there are times when poetry can deeply touch you and change you, but you don't know that it will do that until you are in a situation where it has the ability to do that. This film shows many scenarios where this is the case, where poetry and ends up profoundly changing the students in Keating's classroom because of where they are in life. At first, the students don't necessarily understand why they are learning poetry or other information from Keating, but as the school year goes on, they begin to understand more and more what Keating is saying. I think this is a great message to tell students because it can lead to a great discussion about why it is important to stay engaged in class and why they should learn as much as possible. Of course, some of the responsibility then falls onto the teacher, as they also need to make the content engaging and to relate to their students through how they teach their content. Both sides have responsibility in learning, so no one side is to blame for students who do not learn. However, because teachers are the adult and have a larger perspective on life simply because they've lived longer, they hold more responsibility in this department. Because of this, it is up to teachers to try to find new and creative ways to teach their students. This is by no means a condemnation of teachers at all, rather that I believe that this film can inspire both students and teachers into a newfound sense of learning. If only both sides are willing to put in some extra effort. Second reason why I think this film is worth watching is that it encourages people to live their lives so that they find meaning in it. This is a sentiment that seems to go underutilized not only in schools but everywhere in life. We all should be encouraging one another to live in such a way that we find meaning in what we do and what we say and think. I don't believe that it is solely up to teachers to be instilling this into young people but given that teachers spend so much time interacting with students and many students spend more time with their teachers than with their own parents, teachers should absolutely be talking to their students about issues like this. They should take class time to make sure these points hit home, because these are some of the most important issues that people face throughout their lives. This can be done within the content area of the class, but it does take extra preparation and extra effort. To me, this is the life of a teacher, and this is incredibly demanding at times, but it's the trade-off for having students who grow up to be confident, contributing members of society, and 
to me, that's worth more than extra preparation time and extra effort. I also think teachers could be better prepared to do this in their own schooling as they go through college. And I personally have seen how this hasn't been done as well as it could be. But that's my own personal issue and definitely a topic for another time. This skill of teachers to incorporate life lessons into their classroom is a continually beneficial skill. One that will benefit not only the teacher, but the students. And it's one I believe that is essential for anyone who seeks to move forward in their lives. You have to be able to see the good in life. You have to be able to, in, to live your life in a way that is meaningful. Otherwise, you stay stagnant and you're not able to move forward. Before I wrap up, I just want to briefly mention some critiques of the film that I've been offered up over the years. A couple that I have found are that this movie teaches students how to question authority without doing the other part of things, which is to find the truth, even if it is from the authority you question in the first place. It doesn't show how people should still respect authority, even when they are in the midst of questioning them. I think this is an excellent conversation to start with students, to ask what they think about questioning authority and when they should respect authority. The discussion between students has great potential, and teachers can interject with other points about when people should respect authority. I think it's a great skill to know how to respect authority in all situations, even while you're questioning them. The other big critique is of John Keating himself, who some feel doesn't really take ownership about events that happen later in the film, and some events that his students take part in. The critique is that Keating really doesn't own up to the fact that his actions led to some of the bad things that happened, and that he should take more of the blame, since his words inspired his students into these actions. I don't want to say that this critique is invalid by any means, but rather that I think this could lead to some other great discussions with students, to ask them if the actions of Keating did in fact lead to those events later in the film, and if Keating should be the one held accountable for what happens. It isn't necessarily about determining who's right and who's wrong, who deserves the blame. It's simply about taking the time and the exercise to figure out how to analyze things, how to determine who's the blame or if there is blame for the actions that happen in the film. I apologize for being vague about it, I just simply don't want to spoil the movie in case you haven't seen it. Those are the biggest reasons why I think this film is great for English teachers to show in their classrooms. Though in honesty, any teacher could show this film and still have a great discussion with it. It just fits better into English teachers since the film deals with an English teacher. If you're not a teacher, this film is still definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it because the performance from Robin Williams alone makes this a great watch. But the performances from the child actors as well and the story itself make it an engaging film to watch. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment about what you think of Dead Poets Society or what other film you think I should cover next. If you have any suggestions for a new context for me to review films in, like in this video the context would be the movies for teachers, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. I would love to get suggestions on what you would like to see next. If you like the content on the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss any new videos. It's also the best way to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.